Hey guys, so I'm checking in. I've been wearing the foundation since the moment and it looks so freaking good. Like, yeah. Hey beautiful, so today we have a first impressions on some new products. I went shopping and I found the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect 2-in-1 foundation and concealer. I did get sun beige. This does remind me of the Jordana 2-in-1 concealer and foundation. foundation. These are sister companies, so I love the Jordana. So I'm really hoping the concealer and foundation from Milani is bum diggity. I also picked up the NYX Hydration Primer Base and I picked up both the NYX Cream Highlight and Contour and um, I know it's two different shades. I bet. This one's medium and this one's deep. These were a bitch to take out of the display like you ripped the packaging. It was I hate, I hate the way the display was. Let me just vent about that for a minute, okay? I was over here taking out the palettes from the display, and my brother was on his cell phone, and my other brother was following my other brother around, and I was over here asking for help, because I was like, I didn't know how to take them out. And they were too concerned, looking at my brothers, wondering if they were stealing or not. Don't you hate that? Let me know down below if you get followed or people just stare at you because they think you're stealing. Like, it's just ridiculous. Like, and I was a hell of a lot about it too. I was like, can someone help me instead of looking at my brothers because you think they're stealing? And like the manager got all red and everything and I'm just like, no, like it's not even funny. Like, it's just to the point where like I'm so annoyed because I get followed everywhere, almost everywhere I go and the moments I don't get followed, I'm just like hallelujah like it's just so annoying so let me know down below if that happens to you or if it's just me because I hate it I'm just like are you serious like if they're not looking at me they're looking at my brothers and it's just ugh. I guess to the point where Rudy busts out his phone and he records the people who follow us and like it's just hilarious because it's just like you're being too obvious boo boo anyways enough of the bitching let's just get into the tutorial so I already did my eyes. Um, I went with like a sparkly purple look, um, something different. Oh, with the eyebrows, I did use this new Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Mascara. I'm loving it so far. So going in with the primer, hopefully we like this. Hopefully we like this new primer. It looks really cool and it was the last one on display so I was excited. So it's a blue tube. And it just says Hydra Touch Primer Base. So, oh, that's pretty cool. Let's just apply some. Oh, and it's even like a tint of blue. That's really cool. So, I'm going to apply a decent amount to my face. Mmm, this smells really good. Oh, it does feel very hydrating. Oh, it smells really good. Okay. So now on to the foundation. This foundation is medium to light coverage, lightweight, oil-free formula, long wearing, waterproof, resistant, and sweat proof. So I will be doing a all day update. Is that even how you say it? It is now 9.53. Let me just show you guys real quick. Okay, so it's 9.54, so we, we will be doing an all-update review. So this is the pump. I like the pump. I like when things have pumps. So let's just pump this. Pump it up. Pump it up. Oh, yes. I think this is going to fit me. Okay. Let's just apply it to our face. Let's just do half our face, and then we will see how it looks. Oh, and the formula feels really thick. The formula feels kind of thick, um, just like the Jordana one, so, so excited. Going in with the damp beauty blender, I'm just going to press this in my face. <laughs> I love it! I love it. It matched me perfect. Hell to the yes! Oh my goodness. So again, it's sun beige. If you guys are my skin complexion, Oh my goodness, I love it. Coverage is really good. Look at this side compared to this side. I'll zoom you in so you guys can see closer. Okay, so here's this side. No foundation. You can kind of see like the freckles and stuff. And then this is a side that I just put the foundation on. Ah, looks nice. Oh my goodness.
my goodness, you guys, I'm so excited. I think I am going, yeah, I'm taking this on the trip. Oh my, oh. See, if only they had my um, shade for the Jordana one, that would have been cool. Oh my goodness, oh yes. Okay, coverage, amazing. I really, really am so excited. Uh, yes, very buildable. I did put a little bit more on my forehead. Oh my goodness, this is... I'm so excited, you guys. This was $9.99, so perfect price because it did conceal. Perfect price, I think, for this. Like, I'm so excited. I love when I find like a good bargain. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the contouring. Um, the reason why I did get the deep and the medium is because I like going over with a light contour, like a medium contour. I like going over it with a medium shade of a contour and then a deep one, just to like warm it up and then deepen it up. So going in with the light, with the medium contour. Oh, that's kind of cool. It has like a cool little seal. And you just like pull it back. I'm not gonna pull it back all the way because I do want to keep this um, film over it to protect it. So we are gonna grab this shade right here. And I'm just gonna use my finger to apply it underneath my eye and then use a beauty blender to, to like blend it out. Now I'm going to go in with the Perfusion um, Concealer Brush. I'm going to pick up this shade right here. This shade right here. Okay, then go in with the Damp Beauty Blender. going in with a deep contouring palette I'm gonna mix this one and this one together I don't want to use the dark cocoa alone because I feel like it's a little bit too dark but mixing those two together let's have a bold look going on with the eyes and I really like this foundation I want to bake it so I'm gonna bake my under eyes and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do with the powder after so Applying this underneath our eyes. Okay, so while that's baking underneath my eyes, I am going to use the Rimmel London Contour Palette. This is new as well. So going in with the Sonakashic All Around Contour Brush, I'm going to pick up this shade right here. Going in with the Sonokashic Angled Contouring Brush. I'm just going to contour our nose. These brushes are so soft. Okay, so since the face has been baking for a while, I'm just going to go over it with a big um, fluffy brush and just like sweep that away. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and apply some blush, going in with the Rimmel London Blush Contour and Highlight um, Palette. It's pink and it has a little bit of gold. It does remind me of the Milani 06 blush that I use that I, like, I'm obsessed over. So, yeah. Okay, so now to highlight, I am going to mix the deep and the medium one together because the deep one kind of has like, a gold sheen. And the light one has more of a champagne. So mixing those two together, you kind of have to warm up the product because it is kind of hard, but you know what? It's okay. So mixing these two together, and I'm just going to apply it to the cheek, on top of the cheek, just like that. Okay, and then if you had to choose um, 
one or the other I would just stick with the medium one I did just want to pick up the deep one just because I really like a deep contour shade so these two together were really nice but if you really just only could like pick one I would say go with the medium one so now I'm gonna highlight my face and I am gonna use Mac O'Dolin. It's gonna be so pretty just because we have the cream highlight. So now we're gonna go over it with a powder highlight and it's just gonna make it like pop and it's gonna be like all up in your face. So going with this brush right here, I'm gonna sweep over the O'Dolin and then apply. Look how gorgeous that is. Bam! Yeah, I really like that cream and then going over with the powder. I feel like it just makes everything go. Okay, so now for my lips, I am going to go with the Bella Premier Cinnamon. I did get this in my BoxyCharm box. Such a pretty mauve color. So I'm just going to apply this all over my lips. Okay, now since we have that color down, I'm going to go in with LA Colors High Shine Lip Gloss. And this is in the shade Fresh. Okay, now just to set our face, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Setting Spray, Photo Focus Setting Spray. Okay, so I am going to be running errands, so I really don't want my hair to be all up in the way because it's like really oily, so just throw on a half, right? Oh, it's 10.50, so I will keep you guys updated throughout the day. I will be running errands, so I am going to be outside in the sun, in the cold, and moving around, so I will be sweating. So I will let you know how the foundation holds up, how the um, NYX cream contour held up, the primer, how it feels under my skin if I'm like getting really oily. And we'll see how the brows are doing. Uh, with the foundation, I really want to see if it is sweat proof because it does say it's sweat proof and water resistant. So, a ver qué pasa. So, yeah, so stay tuned, you guys. I'll see you guys very soon. 42, and the foundation looks so good. Like, I am so impressed. I wanted to show you guys in natural lighting instead of being downstairs with all the lights. Man, I feel like this lighting looks so good. Um, yeah, I just wanted to do a little update. It's on it's not greasy it doesn't feel weird at all although what I just got back from savers got that for four bucks um but yeah it doesn't feel greasy at all highlight is still popping popping so yeah it looks really good like no complaints at all highlight is still on and I am very excited to see how it's gonna look at the end of the day so stay tuned guys so it's 651 we just got back from um, shopping at Sephora and Ulta. I wanted to get some stuff from Connie since I will be staying with her. Um, ugh. So, I am kind of oily, but you know what? That's nothing new. I'm always an oily monkey, but oh, it's okay. It's okay. As long as the foundation is still on, no complaints. Contour, the contour still looks nice. It looks good. Highlight is popping. Lots of compliments on the glitter that I have on. You know what? I should wear glitter more. Look at my makeup and they're like, oh my god, it looks really nice. So it makes you like feel good, you know? So yeah, foundation is holding up though. Really good. No fading yet. I d no complaints besides like the oiliness, but really that's like, I can just, um, I can just tap off the access. can just tap off the access. Oh, I grabbed two. My way. So I will keep you guys updated. I'll do my last update at the end of the video, and then I'll just give you guys the rundown. So, stay tuned. Okay, so it's now 10.23. I'm so sorry. I passed out. Took off my hoops. I am one exhausted mama. Okay, so let's just do the whole rundown. So, go kind of like in order. Okay, so... For the brows, I know I didn't show you guys, but since a few of you were asking me on Instagram and Snapchat what the hell was on my brows, because I guess they look nice today, okay, which is like, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I did purchase the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Mascara, and this is in the shade Nothing But Brunette. This is amazing. You guys really saw a difference, and I was just like, yes, I'm keeping it. So it made them look really nice and not harsh how I normally have them. Guess me, I love a really dark brow, but I just really liked the way it looked, the shade looked on me. I was just like, yes. 
So I will be doing a updated brow tutorial using this and also the Morphe single eyeshadow I used. It's called Nuts For You. So I will be doing an updated brow tutorial very soon. So yeah, this was amazing. Loved it. The brows are still on. I took a nap. I was like rolling around in the bed. Still on. Okay, next. Now for the next NYX. Now for the next product, it's NYX Hydro Touch. This was really good. I really like the way it went on my face and it really kept my problem areas. These are my where I get dry. Here, 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 and like just like weird little like patches everywhere. And it really kept those spots really hydrated and I noticed that the foundation wasn't cracking around those areas and it worked out really, really good. Was really impressed. Can't wait to try it out tomorrow because tomorrow we got another first impressions I want to do. And I'm definitely going to use this because this was really, really good. So, yes. Yes for the um, the primer. Really, really good. I can't get over it. It was, it was really nice. And I really liked how it was a tint of blue. That's just what made it cool, too. It's just like, it looked like aqua, you know? Okay. Next thing, we applied the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer freaking amazing I have never posted so many like selfies and like video chats on Instagram and snapchat but like I seriously was just like posting and like chatting with you guys because I was just like holy crap like don't start I don't want to rip you off okay Ugh, I was a gin. this was just so amazing I was like talking to Rudy and I was like you know what have you ever liked something so much where you feel like you have to get it back up because you feel like, you know, like the factory is going to stop selling it or something because, like, it's so good. And you just, like, stop. But, yeah, this is amazing. It held up very, very well. It says that it is a medium to full coverage, which is true because you can, build, you know, which is true because um, when I first was applying really good, the forehead, it was, like, medium coverage. And then I had to go in with more and put a little bit more. And I went to full coverage. So that is true. It says it's lightweight, oil-free oil formula. It is very lightweight. It feels like there's nothing on your skin. It seriously feels like really, really good on the skin. And it says long wearing, which is true. I keep saying that, which is true. Um, it says it's long wearing, waterproof, resistant, and sweat proof. True, true, true. I've been wearing this foundation since 10 in the morning, like 10.30, I believe. And it has not gone anywhere. And I took a nap didn't go anywhere I was out and about didn't go anywhere I was running around with the kids packing because I'm gonna be leaving to generation beauty and seriously it did not move I did get a little bit oily around my problem areas but to me the foundation was just so amazing that didn't even matter to me because I was just like you know what it's okay the texture of the foundation feels moussey kind of thick but not too thick where it feels like oh it's, it's gonna feel like cake on your face it just feels like it's good like you know like when you feel something good and you're like oh yeah this is gonna be good I don't know how to explain it but amazing like this is you need this like you really do like I wouldn't recommend something if it, I didn't believe in it I wouldn't recommend something if it, if it was shitty like this is not like this is like 10 out of a 10 it's really good I really enjoyed it and I was really impressed. Um, I did get this shade Sand Beige. I really think it's worth the 10 bucks because it was really good. I didn't even have to really apply a concealer underneath. I did go in with the NYX highlight, but it's not a concealer. Um, but I did, I did love this. Like it concealed under there really good because you guys know like to apply foundation and then go over with a concealer. I didn't have to do that with this. This is really really good and I was really impressed so I would recommend this to everybody I do have combo skin so this works really good for me um, if you are oily I would say give it a try anyways because it does say it's waterproof so it should you know kind of fight back the oil and if you are dry go in with a hydrating primer so the next products are the NYX cream highlighting palettes these are $14.99 each, buy one, get one for 50% off. To me, it's still pricey. Some people were like, that's a good deal. But I feel like drugstore makeup is going up so much. It's kind of crazy. But um, I did like it. If it was like, you know, seven, eight bucks and okay, I wouldn't mind spending it for each palette. Um, the one I did like was the medium one. I did get the deep one because like I said, I do like darkening up my contour. 
and I did get lots of compliments today about my contour so I was pretty excited about that um, if I would say pick one over the other just go with the medium if you are my skin complexion the medium one was really good um, they are kind of they're not rough but they're not like the softest they're not like butter so you kind of have to like work it in um, but dropping some of argan oil or whatever type of oil you have like a face oil it will just smooth it out and do do the job so the medium one has like a pink champagne highlight and then the deep one has like a golden peachy highlight which i like this highlight more than the more than this one i don't know why i think this one has gold um but yeah they did the job it looks really nice but i just feel like it's just kind of pricey I would just wait for it to go on sale, not the whole buy one, get one 50% off. Hopefully if they just have a sale, you know, sometimes they have their random sales and it's like certain items are marked down for like 50%, 20%. I would say wait until it goes on for sale. Um, but I, I'm probably just going to use this one the most. This one is probably going to be chilling in the back and then when I really want to be, when I really want to be dramatic and like always um, when I really want to be dramatic and um, deepen the contour I would go in with a deep one but I feel like I could just pass with this one like the medium one I could pass with it it looks just as nice the LA girl cosmetics it's like the same shade for like the deep cocoa and you can just contour and do all that and these are a lot cheaper than the next ones um but you know what let me know down below if that's something that you liked if you tried it out if you liked it I did like the cream highlight. Cream highlight was pretty, but I just feel like it's just, I don't know. I just, I guess I just can't get over the price. It's kind of just like, it's a lot. I don't know. That's just me though. But if you have tried out any of these products, the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Mascara, the NYX Hydro Touch Primer, the Milani Conceal Perfect Concealer, the, the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation and Concealer, or the NYX cream contour palettes. Let me know down below. Let me know your thoughts. If you liked it. If you didn't like it. What are your thoughts about it? I would love to know. Um, and yeah. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions on these products. If you did. Please give me a big thumbs up. And subscribe. Please give me a big thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already. So you guys can keep updated with my videos. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I love you guys. I love chit chatting. Besos a todos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.